this European Cricket Network event is proudly brought to you by HCL Software and Paramatch. This is a struck away very nicely. Good use of the bottom hand there by Ravindran. Coffee of the day. This is struck over fine leg. Has it gone all the way? Yes, it has. Umpire Lloyd raises his arm, signals a six. Oh, cut away. Incredibly for a four this tournament. There is no way that Czechia will be able to come back mathematically. And this is going to go all the way as well. It's another six. Petre. Oh, it's another one that's gone up in the air. But this one, there's nothing Petre can do about that. Tougher cricketers I've seen. It's played away towards mid-wicket. Has it got enough to go for four? Yes, it is. Oh, this is a huge hit. It's going to go over cow corner. Four is six. Great strike there by Ghani. Straight down the ground, and it goes away for a four. Just past the side screen. And it's going to get cut away. It's going to go for four. Oh, shot. What a stroke. Incredible hit there by Ravindran. Just changing the angle there by Garrison. Doesn't quite work out for him. Sits up nicely for Ravindran. Once again, just a bit too much width on offer, and Ravindran is going to strike that one away. Struck firmly and just hits the uh, base of the ice cube, the, the left post. I can't see him as he's, he's probably, it's probably the time that he, he should come on. Oh, could this be a chance? I mean, this could be an opportunity, should be an opportunity, and Paolo Florin gets the wicket. And there he is, just uh, points out the name on the shirt. He's done it for Romania. He's done it for his country. And he's absolutely pumped. All right, Ravindran. He'd be a huge wicket. But Ravindran gets it right. And he sends it over mid-wicket. Maximo. Oh, could be out. He could be out. So he's got Ravindran in the end. What am I talking about? Without Ravindran, picks up a wicket. What a celebration. Goes down on the ground, does the double pistol celebration as well. Looks like he's Neo from the Matrix. What a wicket. First set of players we ever saw on ECN back in 2019. Uh, and he's going to raise the finger. Well, the initial question is, is this going down the leg side or not? Not according to the umpire. He seems to think it's uh, going to crash into the leg stump. Seems to get a long way across here, Stan. Check it out in the replay. It's, a, it's touch and go. You can see two stumps there. Then you batter coming in at five. Straight down the ground, and that will go just to the right of the side screen. Prashar starts off with a six. Eases a six down the ground. It's going to go long again, but this could be a chance here. Oh, Garasim makes a leaping effort. This wasn't quite tall enough to uh, get to that, in all honesty. You've got to commend the effort. Yeah, I'd agree with that. You know, he's, he is a partnership-breaking bowler. Prashar just smokes his third consecutive six to start his innings, looking a lot like the Prashar we saw on finals day. Well, that's going to go the same way. Ricky's just rolling in kind of bowling machine style, and Prashar's saying, yep, if you didn't believe me the first time, this one's going to go as well. This goes a little big again. Again, and that's going to go all the way for six. So six consecutive sixes for Prashar. No, I've been served up a full toss. Doesn't quite land that on the pitch. Pavel Florin and Despontain smacks it away for a six. Well, goes big again. This time it's a little bit over pitch, and Despontain says, well, Out towards uh, mid-wicket. Oh, it's a misfield. Oh, that is a big mistake there by Tharindu Sandruan. Normally a very good fielder, but... I mean, usually Prashar would smack those sorts of balls for six like he's done here. Great shot there by Prashar, but Petre goes a little bit too short. Oh, goes over mid-wicket. This time he just takes a little step across. 
And he gets to access the leg side. Seems able to play a lot of games. Yeah, this one's going to go sailing over the ice cube. Brings up his century, Prashard. Just for a moment, you wondered if it might land in the ice cube at some, but it went well clear of it. Oh, it's up in the air as he timed this one nicely. He was a little bit early on that one. It's going to go straight to Garasim, who's going to hold on to the catch. Hussein gets his second wicket. He's been great with his bowling throughout this weekend. I've been very impressed by Ijaz Hussein. Second one falls. Whack a few out of the ground. Although Matty might be in trouble because he's shown a bit too much of the ball to Garasim. And he'll take two in two. Well, cool as you like. Matty's going to go for a golden. Well, he'll remember that's exactly how his ECI started. So no good this time. But that's the way the cookie crumbles in T10 cricket. 149 for five. And there's Golden Derrick. And as soon as this ball's done, the captain's going to have to put on his thinking cap. This one's come off the outside edge of Desfontaine. And, well, misfortune there for Hussein. He's very unlucky. That one goes away for a four. Desfontaine's better well so far. Outside edge. And what a hold. What a grab there. By Nadi Gotla, reaction catch just le puts out a mitt and it somehow sticks in. Desfontaine departs because of an absolutely stunning catch. All right, four to come. Uh, top edge. And it's going to go all the way by the looks of it. Squarely umpire indicates it's a six. Once again, this is another one that looks like it's gone. Well clear of the boundary rope. Using the reverse V to perfection. Two to come. Comes off the uh, bottom part of his bat, but he still gets it away for four. So three consecutive boundaries here for Farasad. Really uh, spoiling Hussein's over. 17 off this over so far. He's got a ball to come. Yeah, great ball there by Hussein. Over's going to end with a single. And yeah, you got to feel for Hussein, though. And we saw a couple of sixes in that over coming off edges. I mean, he, overall, I think, I think he did a pretty good job bowling in that death over. Just luck didn't favor him in the end. And we're going to see 23 runs in the end of the last couple of overs. So they did manage to contain them a little bit at the end, Romania. Let's shake, rattle and roll. You're in front of Hussein in the power play again. He's going to start by lifting one up over the leg side. Going, going, one bounce and four. Prashar lifts this up into the air. Does Hussein and he's going to be gone. Well, Sheikh Razik doesn't drop too many catches. His name was so destructive in the power play earlier today. Good cut shot. Good shot selection from Nadegotla. Really good looking shot. Rasik comes around. He can't make the stop. Moyes faced up for the first time. High. And feel like he might reach it. He might not, though. He's going to run out of real estate. Built it. They've got two fielders down there, but they might need more. <laughs> They're not allowed more at this stage. You see down there. False shot. But nobody down there because they're on the other side of the field. Now I think that's another one bounce for. Oh, that's going to be four more. Well, it's raining fours. If you don't get six, fours are not a bad substitute. That is six. And had to wait a while, but it's going, going, and out of the park. Maximo for Moyes. For Sharp, he is going to get the third over. And it starts well for Romania. Nadegotla just kind of stands, holds his ground. Goes up and over the top. This will be a chase, but it'll be an unsuccessful chase. In the YouTube as well. Wow, he's going to get lucky here now. Got, like, that's going to run away for another four. Hits straight and hits very well. Smashes into the sight screen. Maximo. And he will provide it. Bears alive. And Romania 63 for one. To find leg. Oh, he's going to try. He's going to get four. That was smart batting, really. We've gotten this far. Oh, plays this away beautifully. He knew that Ainsworth was going to go for that wide yorker, so he just stepped across, anticipated it. Last ball coming up. 
going to go big over here, and it's going to go for six. So they do get 18 runs from the over. Ghani, last over in the tournament for him. Oh, has this carried straight to Desfontaine? Yes, it has. Superb low catch for the UCB player. Holds on to that one. Gives his chest a rub. I think uh, he's just corralled that one on his chest. He's a clever bowler. He's going to bowl over number eight. A full toss as this cleared the rope. Uh, yes. 47 now for Moyes. He's going to go big again, but there's a fielder out at extra cover, and he will take a very comfortable catch. Mundian will have the last laugh against Moyes as he gets him out right after Moyes hit a six. 22 or 14 for a point. A full toss, and this is going to be drilled away towards the rope as Sunderland hits his first boundary of the innings. This is played away very nicely there by Sunder. One good looking shot. In another series, maybe. I think he is a contender. <laughs> it's up in the air, and it's going to be taken very comfortably. Rasik picks up another wicket, his sixth of this weekend. And Gill will depart, having made just five runs. <laughs> it's going to be some ridiculous ask for Checky in the next game. Yeah, well, this is going to be for. Well, they put him back there, Mark Desfontaine, exactly for that. Oh, that's a big shot, and it looks like it's a flat six. It's gone all the way. Oh, smoke, smoke down the ground. Ghani's going to chase that, sticks a boot out, but he won't be able to get to it. Last ball to 10. Ends with a dot ball. Great delivery there by Shamsher. Nails the Yorker. And uh, Hungary take a big step towards uh, picking up this ECI crown, but they've not won it just yet. Czechia still have some hope. They're mathematically still alive. Well, they obviously need a huge performance in the final match of the day. Romania, though, wonder what kind of state they'll be in. They'll, of course, be looking to win their first match of this tournament as they're still seeking their first win. Handshakes all round.